Now a Stableford competition, I think in the UK and Europe particularly, is one of the most popular versions of the game of golf. And that's because it kind of rewards good play, but doesn't excessively punish bad play. And Stableford was invented just 50 miles from where I am here on the northwest coast of England at Wallasey Golf Club. And I can only imagine it was invented. It was invented by a guy called Dr. Stableford, I think. But I can only imagine it was invented by a guy who had a shocking first hole and halfway down the second decided to change the rules of golf forever. And the way Stableford works is it takes your net score on a hole, relates it to par, and then rewards you a number of points for that. So let's imagine that we're playing a hole here and we're playing to the bucket. The bucket is our intended target and we are a par four. So we're intended to get a par four and we're dealing here in gross scores. Obviously on the golf course, your score might be netted down depending on your handicap, but this is a gross score. So it's a par four and we hit it once, twice up onto the green, third putt goes close and I make a four. So on the first hole, I made a four on a par four and that will give me two points. So I get two points on the scorecard. And the intention would be that I would go around the entire golf course making two points on every hole for a stable for total of 36. So 36 is shooting to your handicap. Now, on the next hole, par four again, I hit a really long drive. I knock my second one onto the green and I hole my putt. So I've made a three on a par four. I've had a good hole, I've made a birdie and that converts to three points. So I've scored more points for my birdie than I did do for my par. So you now get the idea that in Stableford, we want our score to be as high as possible. We're not trying to go low like a, a normal stroke play event. We want the score to be high. So I made a birdie and I get myself three points for doing that. And then on the next hole, I'm playing another par four just to keep the score simple. I hit a bad tee shot. I've gone in the trees over here. I then hit it out of the trees to the middle of the fairway. I'm up for three, close to the green for four, and I knock it in the hole. That time I've made a five. So on a par four, I made a five. I've made a bogey. And for that, I only score one point. So I normally get my two if I make a par on this hole. I got a bogey, so I only get one point. So I had a two, a three, a one. I'm still level to my intended handicap. So two points per hole is what you're expected to make. Now, on the next hole, and this is what I think happened to Mr. Stableford at Wallasey Golf Club a couple of hundred years ago. He stands on the first tee and he hits it out of bounds. So he drags it back, he's now playing three off the tee. And he hits it out of bounds again. And he drags it back, he's now playing five off the tee. And then he goes down the hole and he taps in for a nine. And he says to his playing partners, I don't quite fancy putting a nine on my scorecard. So he invents Stableford because in Stableford, once you've got to zero points, you can't score any less than zero. So even though I made a nine on the hole, I only put a zero on my scorecard. So I should have scored two, I got a zero. So I'm only actually two worse. So rather than having to carry that nine on my scorecard the whole way around and it frustrates me because it adds up at the end and it's too many, I just put zero and I go to the next tee and I think, well, oh, I'm still in this, I can still claw this back. I could get another three pointer. I could even get an eagle or a net eagle, which would give me a four pointer. Very rare, but very nice on the scorecard. So using the Stableford scoring system, you will limit how excessively bad your bad scores can be. It's a very good format for those golfers who occasionally have blow up holes, big mess up holes where a 10 or 11 goes on the scorecard. Because in Stableford, doesn't matter, just go with a zero and get back on the next hole and hopefully you can score some twos and some three pointers. There are modified versions of Stableford. Sometimes a par will score you zero points, a birdie might score you three points or five points for an eagle, and then bogeys might score you minus one or minus two. So have a look for Stableford and modified Stableford and hopefully that will help you enjoy your golf more by playing a Stableford format.